know that there are four key things that are the key drivers of really a great guest experience on board the ships. And certainly the variety of food and beverage offerings are one of those four key things. $90 million is, is quite a big spend on a, on a ship of this age. Uh, it's mostly focused on dining venues. So it's really looking to take the venues that have been incredibly successful on, a, on Oasis and Allure uh, and adding them into this class of ship so we can offer our guests the same kind of level of service and opportunity. Well, we're here in Samba Grill. Uh, Samba Grill is our churrascaria, a Brazilian steakhouse. Uh, it's a concept that we developed originally for Allure of the Seas. We started it off with Allure. So we have taken the opportunity here to convert what, what was formerly the Seaview Cafe into this new Brazilian steakhouse. If they're in the mood for Mexican, they can dine at Rita's Cantina. If they like Asian food, they can go to Azumi. If they want to really enjoy uh, the hot dog, the Boardwalk hot dog will be here for them, or the famous Kumovec sandwich from the Park Cafe will be here or a really upscale dining experience at the chef's table. And then of course we're replacing Portofino's with Giovanni's table. So the sheer variety of restaurants that will be on a Radiance is really unprecedented. I know we have a huge Irish pub that's gonna go in there and I think they will love it. So we have so much, so much that is gonna bring the, the wow factor back on board the, the Radiance of the Seas. It offers almost as many dining options as we, as we have on, on Oasis today. And of course, you know, on a smaller ship. So, so the impact is, is quite tremendous.